Most people in Waldo County know the 218 Citizen of the Year as a suave, dapper man about town whose quickness with a joke or bon mot is practically legendary, whose ability to wrangle even the orneriest town meeting is unsurpassed, and whose flair with a Santa suit is unrivaled. But Marjorie Crowley begs to differ. She knew Lee Woodward when, and she's not afraid to spill the beans. And I knew him before he was the charismatic stand-up comedian attorney. Um, and I think that there will be many people saying really wonderful things about Lee and his community service, but I really think that what I can bring to the evening is more of a perspective, letting people know just how far Lee has come. Lee in high school and junior high was what you would call a dork, which is the equivalent of today's nerd, okay? This may be hard to believe for people who know him today, but he wore thick horn rim glasses and black shoes, white socks, and his favorite fashion accessory was a pocket protector, which was brimming literally with pencils, mechanical pencils and pens. And to add, to his adolescent allure, he was president of the math club. Not, not the football team, not the swim team, the math club. Um, you should know that he was known as Woody back in the day. Uh, I think that's an important thing for people to know. Well, as the saying goes, great oaks from dorky acorns grow. Lee went off to law school where he lost a pocket protector, white socks and black shoes and came back to practice law in Belfast. He also found time to give back to his community. He joined the Rotary Club of Belfast where he threw himself into service projects and almost 40 years ago had a good idea that has grown into something huge. The Rotary 100 Fund was started by Lee in 1982 in conjunction with WBME, a little teeny radio station, and Belfast Rotary. And its mission, as it is today, is to bring uh, new warm boots, hats, uh, an outfit for school, special Santa toys, to at least 100 disadvantaged children across Wallow County. And all the gifts were shopped for and paid for by Rotarians and then delivered to the homes by teams of um, Santas and Elves, Rotary Santas and Elves. And Lee actually founded that. And he ran it for many years and shot for probably thousands of gifts. This year, the Rotary 100 Fund will give $18,000 worth of toys and clothes to 140 children in Waldo County. That's huge. But let's go back to that elf thing for a minute. One of the Christmas elves would like to take this opportunity to air some grievances. I've had the privilege of serving as Santa Lee's elf for a very long time. Each year, Santa Lee makes an elf wear funny hats like the one I'm putting on. And each year, Santa Lee tries to complete his appointed rounds before all the other Santas complete theirs. As his elf, it was my duty to keep Santa Lee on time. This was harder than the elves expected. Santa Lee liked nothing better than to interrogate the children about whether they had been good or bad and which reindeer was their favorite. Elf Mark found a speedy driver and another elf to keep things moving. They tried to enforce a strict timetable. Still, the stress levels rose on the sleigh. Needless to say, this created a lot of tension between Santa Lee, his elves, and his personal driver. So this year, there isn't going to be any cross-examination of children. Santa Lee is simply going to say ho, 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 and give the gifts to the kids in order to beat the clock and come back in before all the other Santas. Starting the Rotary 100 Fund and being the speediest Santa in the county is a lot, but it's not all Lee has done. He has chaired the Rotary Scholarship Committee, been past president of the Rotary Club, and is the longest serving board member in Walter County General Hospital's 117 year history. 
He helped usher the hospital into its new era, helping to direct the creation of the Coastal Health Care Alliance that combined Penn Bay Hospital and Waldo County General Hospital. From time to time, he even offers free legal advice. I just wish you'd stop yelling at my wife across the aisles of Hanover, offering a free divorce for her. You know she's never going to take it up on that. And besides, I know you're offering it because you know that, and that's why it's free. On top of everything else, Lee spends the month of March traveling around Waldo County to serve as town meeting moderator, bringing his gavel and good humor with him. In fact, it's rumored that in many towns he's better known as Mr. Moderator than Mr. Woodward. I can't tell you exactly how many years Lee has been doing town meeting, but it's many. And uh, we even have him for special town meetings at times, mainly because he's very professional. He interacts with the crowd very positively. He, he knows many people in the crowd. He's done business with some of the people in the crowd. And he has a tendency to run a light-hearted meeting. People can argue a little bit, but when they're all done arguing, they'll shake hands or they'll get up and talk with each other. And it's, it's almost a congenial meeting, the town meeting here. Lee has a tendency to make jokes about things. He's a great moderator. He really is. We all like him. I don't, I've never heard anybody say a bad word about Lee Woodward. And yet Lee is not necessarily universally loved. You're asking the person who is always the butt of his practical jokes if he's a good person. I, first of all, Lee will not expect any mushy compliments from me, for starters. I think that down deep he's a good person. Um, my concern is that this award is going to go to his head and that his head may explode or that we may not be able to tolerate him at, at Rotary. That's my deepest concern about this award, although I do believe that he's very, very deserving. Marjorie, like many people in Waldo County, was distressed when Lee had a cardiac emergency this spring. She was relieved he pulled through and she was even hopeful that she might see some changes in her old friend. And I personally had hoped that a kinder and gentler Lee would emerge from that experience, fat chance. Still, Marjorie knows we're lucky to have him. Practical jokes, elf hats and all. Because when somebody needs Lee Woody Woodward, he is always there. He helps towns navigate smoothly through tricky meeting agendas. He makes sure needy Waldo County children have a Christmas to remember, and he will always keep on using his brains to good humor to make this a better place for all of us.